And now it's time to start the year off with a wild visit from our <laughs> friends at the Palm Beach Zoo and Conservation Society. Animal trainer Sarah Travis and media relations manager Angela Ledford have brought our special guest this morning. Dolly, what a beautiful bird. She is. She's definitely very, very pretty. And Dolly is an eclectic parrot, and they get that name from being eclectically colored. They are from Australia, and she's 22 years old. And one of her favorite treats, of course, are sunflower seeds. And by eating sunflower seeds and other seeds out in the wild, they're actually giving back to their environment. They are seed dispersers, mm. so they promote new plant growth. Well, I hear that uh, Dolly is... Famous. She has a claim to fame. She does have a claim to fame. She was photographed by National Geographic Photo Arc. We, we have her picture right over there. Beautiful. So she is very famous. You are stunning, Dolly. <laughs> We're very impressed. <laughs> so, what makes this type of parrot unique from other species? I mean, we see many different types of birds. Mm -hmm. Well, when you look at a parrot, you can't really tell if it's a male or a female just by mm -hmm. looking at it. Eclectus parrots are different. The girls have a red head like Dolly here, and the boys have a green head. Wow, I didn't know that. Well, she seems very sweet. People might think she would make a great pet. I'm assuming that's not necessarily the case. You are no. absolutely <laughs> correct. Um, beautiful birds are very enticing for people to bring into their homes. Unfortunately, they just don't do all the research and don't understand how much care and attention parrots desire and require. And they also, this particular species can live to be 40 years old. Whoa. So we encourage, instead of buying an exotic uh, pet to keep at your home, that come down to the zoo and visit those animals there instead. That's an excellent option. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if anyone can see at home, but it looks like the tail's, um, her tail is like orange. Yes. So it's a little different than the uh, upper body. Yeah, that's a really good observation. Mostly if you see a parrot, they have a very long tail. Eclectus parrots' tails are very short, and that's because they don't have a nest that sits on tree branches. In fact, they actually burrow into the tree and make a nest in a hole there. So no the long tree. tail would get in the way. Very cool. Good observation. <laughs> okay, so Angela, you always have so many awesome <laughs> events happening at the zoo. What's happening this month? This time I'm just going to tell you about our conservation leadership lecture because it's part of our sustainability mission. We do want to educate people as well as inspire them. And we're going to have Dr. Buddy Powell. He's the executive director of Cedar Shore Alliance doing our first lecture of the series that's January 29th and this the theme will be mermaids and manatees 40 years of manatee research obviously right here in Palm Beach County we have a lot of ties to the ocean so we're not just land animals too we also like to promote ocean conservation as well awesome, that's awesome. and Dolly you're such a star <laughs> making your appearance <laughs> here on News Channel 5 and National Geographic look <laughs> at you go <laughs> thank you both a special thank you of course for bringing in Dolly today we'll be right back